Let's start with Afghanistan. Obviously, as a U.S. Army veteran, you're a guy who spent time in Iraq, and I appreciate your service. Thank you. There's no way you pull the military out first, do you, Graham? Uh, what the hell no. are we thinking? Well, we we weren't thinking. Uh, Joe Biden doesn't think. Joe Biden doesn't have a clue. It's one of two things. Either one, every single person in the intelligence community, the military community, Joe Biden's a- a- advisors communities are absolute idiots, or Joe Biden completely and utterly made what could be the worst military decision in United States history. Uh, As Donald Trump Jr. said, he has single-handedly created the worst hostage situation possible. And and, and here's what's going to end up happening. Uh, America has to make good on the world stage for what America promises to do. The end. We made promises to a lot of people. We have a lot of allies over there. But most importantly, we have a lot of Americans over there. The end. I go along with Rob O'Neill's sentiments that he had the other day. We should be doing, sending, uh, allowing the ROE, the rules of engagement, whatever they need to be. You need to, we need to move mountains, rain down, unholy Godfire, whatever we have to do to get our people back. The end. There, there, there is no other priority. There is no other question. There is no anything of any kind in that regard right now. The only thing that matters, right. the only thing that matters is getting our people back. After that, there needs to be resignations. There needs to be firings. There needs to be, in my opinion, impeachments. There needs to be everything. This cannot be let go. And Republican elected officials in Congress need to do their freaking job and actually have a backbone when we get our people back and we can focus on how this happened in the first place. We cannot allow this to let go. We we absolutely can't because that's what the Democrats are hoping that we do is that they'll focus on the the crisis that we have right now. And then once we get everybody back, that we'll just forget about it and let it go. We cannot do that. Doing it backwards this way is exponentially harder and worse than had you done it right the first time. It's Graham Allen. GrahamAllenSC.com is the website. Get his new book, Dear America, Live Like It's 912. Uh, So how do you do it now? I mean, obviously, you leave the military there. You don't let the Taliban rush in and pretend they pushed us out, which they didn't. We were leaving for for some stupid reason. Leave the military there. Protect those who helped us. Get every American out. Tell them if you harm one hair on one head, one American uh, civilian or, 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 or soldier, we blow you off the map. Tell them that. Stand by that. Drop the bombs if you have to. But now we've done it backwards, Graham. You're a military guy. How do you do it? Do you send thirty thousand back in? Forty thousand back in? Do you blow up the palace? How do we? How do we uh, get get our people out and those who help us, knowing they're being executed as they're found? Well, we're doing everything wrong. Uh, we are acknowledging the Taliban as an actual regime, which first of all they don't deserve to be that. These people are animals. The end. Uh, second of all, you're right. We're in a bad situation now. We're in a situation where uh, we had 2,500 troops, I believe it was. At one time, now there's 1,000 troops. The way that you're going to be able to go in there and get people out is you're going to have to send people into the streets because they're clogging up the runways. They're clogging up the areas to get to the airports. And Our people are not able to get to where they need to go. Jen Psaki, just today, in the White House press briefing, said that we do not have Americans stranded in Afghanistan. That is not made up. That is an actual quote. That is a real thing that she said. She got into it with Peter Ducey from Fox News. She said that Peter Ducey was being a dishonest journalist for saying that we have stranded Americans in Afghanistan. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, these are the people... That are in charge. We had the president of the United States just yesterday uh, that was saying the first thing you need to do in a hurricane is get a COVID-19 shot. These are the people that are making these decisions. Uh, It is absolute insanity. Uh, I don't see it ending peacefully. The Taliban has already drawn a line in the sand to basically say that if Americans are not out by August 31st, that there's going to be consequences. So we're allowing Blinken. Blinken is literally was asked on Face the Nation. Are we asking the Taliban for permission? And he responds with, well, they are in charge of Kabul. Are you kidding me? No, we are the United States of America. The end. To quote Cat Williams, we are better than you. Like, you don't tell the United States what, how we can operate and what we can do when you have our people in harm's way.